Boomchika, 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 boomchika. Hi guys, how's everybody doing? Ooh, hang on guys, let me check my uh, internet. Oh, are we back? Am I good? Hi guys, how's everybody doing? Hopefully I didn't just cut off one live and start a new one. Hi Adam. Yay, hey Christy. Hi, Tammy. Oh, hello, Reb. Hi, Jim. <laughs> hey, Lesia. Hi, Marie. Pammy's got a wrench. It's my wrench crew. Hi, Ashley. Hello, everybody. Happy Monday, said no one ever. <laughs> I'm doing good. How are you doing, Christy? Okay, a little bit of a different setup. I am in my mom's backyard. Hi, Adrian. We get light here until 7 p.m., so I'm taking advantage of this natural light. So it's not that well lit, but you can still see my face, right? Hey, Courtney. Jacqueline. Jacqueline, you're on time. That's awesome. Hi, Marcy. Hey, Sherry. <laughs> Thanks. That's my mom's pool. It's very uh, teasing because it's too cold to go in it. So it just sits here looking pretty. No one's been in it since last. Oh, man, mom, when's the last time you went swimming? Was it September? October? October. <laughs> I want to hop in the pool, too. It's even worse when you're sitting here staring at it in person. <laughs> Pots and plants. You're in Arizona. What part of Arizona are you from? Um, Marie, it is probably like 70, I would say now. It's really nice. Oh, it's raining in Louisiana. Bummer. All right. Did I miss anybody? So a little bit of a different setup. Um, I have my comment section down here. So are you calling me, Mom? Oh, I have my comment section down below. So if you see me looking down, that's what I'm doing. Northern Arizona, Kingman. Still sunshiny here. Cool. Tammy said, hi, Mama Clean Leaves. She says, hi. She didn't want to be on today, guys. We're kind of bumming it today. Rainy in Arkansas. Bummer. Nikki. <gasps> Nick, I caught your message. I watched our live video from um, when I went live last Thursday with Becca and Adam. And I saw your message like on the replay. And I was like, dang it. She finally came on and messaged me. And I didn't see it. I wasn't sitting near the comments. I couldn't see it. Hey, Nikki. Hey, Allie. Yay, yay, yay. So how's everybody doing? Everybody cool? Everybody staying healthy? Um, so there's word on the street that you can't say specific words or names, um, on YouTube in reference to all that's happening in the world. So I'm not going to reference the name, but everybody knows what I'm talking about. Right. Hey, Jim. Oh, um, someone asked what I'm drinking. I am drinking. This is actually the second drink I've had the whole time I've been out here. And I've been out here for like a week and, and it's time for a drink. You guys, it's um, Jack honey with diet Coke and don't come, come after me about diet Coke. Okay, guys, I know it's bad, but so is alcohol. So you guys can hear me. Okay. Right. Cause I have these in. Yeah. So if you're, you'll get demonetized, we will. So if you're a YouTuber and I see a lot of YouTubers on here, I have seen multiple people talking about if you mention a specific name, if you mention specific things about what's going on, I think it's YouTube's way of trying to possibly eliminate the false information going around on the internet. And uh, I don't know. Honestly, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what the theory is behind it, but um, I'm not going to talk about it. If it comes up in the comments, if I say 
like a, a word that's in reference to it, they still might demonetize it. I don't know. I'm seeing a lot of stuff, so I'm not quite sure what that's all about, but I wanted to talk about stuff anyway. So you just see if I missed any comments. School's closed. Yeah, Nikki. So if you're making any videos, be sure not to talk about it. You guys, these crane flies out here are ridiculous. Like, what is going on? They're mating. So we're sticking to plants. Mom's the word. Yeah. Yes, we are. Actually, I do want to show you some plants in a little bit. Um, let's see. You're addicted to Diet Coke, Catherine. It's definitely my nemesis. <laughs> I don't drink a lot of it like by itself, but when I'm drinking a drink, I like to have my whiskey with my diet for sure. Um, working from home the rest of the month, Courtney. My office never closes. It's so crazy. It is crazy. Oh, I know. Um, so, oh, they canceled my classes for this week and changed my classes online for the rest of the semester. Yay for watching and making more plant videos. Yes, Lesia, that's awesome. It's That's really cool. Like if you're a YouTuber and you're a full-time student, that's pretty awesome. Are you a full-time student or do you work on the side? I can't remember. <laughs> Oh, no, Sherry, if you haven't had a drink in years, don't go back. It's just, it, don't don't go off that cliff. Baptism for your godson got postponed. Yeah, because, so I guess they're limiting crowds to 10 people now. Um, says the man in charge. I heard a speech earlier that that's the word on the street. Yesterday, I think they limited it to 50 people. I was actually shooting a wedding yesterday, and um, at like 3 o'clock in Arizona, I guess the mayor came on and said that before I went to the wedding, it was 120 people, I think. And then uh, the mayor came on and said it was down to 50, <laughs> and the bride was like, oh. <gasps> Uh oh, are they gonna camp? Should everybody go home? <laughs> I was like, I think you're good. <laughs> uh, but anyway, you work in a grocery store, meat department, Donna. Oh, I wish I can like insert pictures into my live feed because it would be kind of cool to show you guys like some pictures. I've been taking pictures from every store that I've been going to and like just to like kind of compare. It just looks apocalyptic. Oh, that might be a word that gets me demonetized. Oh well. Uh, let's see. I see some talk about plants, but I don't know what I'm missing. Online shopping, Courtney. I think the stores are taking advantage of that. <laughs> because if you're in a place where you can spend some money during this downtime, online shopping is going to be probably at a sky high uh, rate. But I went for a bike ride yesterday and that lifted my spirits. Yeah, I saw your stories, Adam. That looked really peaceful. We should go for a bike ride, mom. Yeah, so Chicago, where I'm from, if you're new here. Hi, I'm Nicole. I'm from Chicago. I don't live here. I sometimes wish I did because I'd live in the pool. Um, they shut down all CPS. CPS closes for nothing. Nothing. Ever. Like, it's, it needs to be bad. Okay, motorcycle man. You're cool. It needs to be something serious in order for CPS to close. So, uh, yeah. And their their last day was today. They went in today. All the kids got all their books and all their stuff. And now they are home with my husband. And Jay went to the grocery store today. A friend of his told him that the um, store. Oh, my God. Wow. Can you stop? One of the downfalls about filming outside is that it's loud. Um, one of the stores by our old house had like toilet paper and paper towel. And he goes and he's like, yeah, there's nothing here. And he spent like an obscene amount of money on groceries for the next like month just in case because like we're a family of five. So um, let's see. Did I miss anything? <laughs> oh, congrats on the string of hearts, Jacqueline fun. Yeah. So the grocery store by my mom's had no chicken either. And that was kind of freaking me out because it's like, well, chicken, like for all of us meat eaters out there, 
you can make a lot of stuff with chicken. Like that could spread pretty far. And there was none of it. Um, let's see. Oh, Reb. Reb can't see. Oh my gosh. When are you getting your new glasses, Reb? Wait, I missed something that Jim said. Hold on, guys. And I don't know where it went. I'm sorry. The comments are coming in so fast. I can't see them. I also have two plant packages that are in limbo for customs. Yeah. So there's a few plate Guys, I'm waiting on some plant shipments. I'm waiting on a package from Thailand, another one. I'm waiting on a package from Russia. And I'm waiting on a package from the UK. It sucks. So that's just going to be... That's going to be on hold. Um, but, you know, those are problems we don't have to really worry about right now. Oh, Lesia, you're a vegetarian? Yeah, I mean, even the vegetable department was very scarce, which is, it's crazy. Like frozen bags of veggies, maybe stock up on those. <sighs> <laughs> Everybody start talking about Reb because she can't read the comments. <laughs> Payback. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Um, so I'm flying on Wednesday. <laughs> Something I've been struggling with for a while because I didn't know if they were going to shut down domestic uh, travel. And if they did, I mean... It's not, it wouldn't be the end of the world if I got stuck here now. I mean, it would be really bad. But I actually had a cancellation for a wedding on March 28th. This poor girl, she had to move her wedding. Luckily, I have the date that she wanted available later in the summer. But how horrible. Like, can you imagine scrambling and trying to call all your vendors and the money lost? Like, I can't even fathom. So I um, had to can I had to reschedule that. So our business is getting a little scary because we don't know when we're going to be up and running again. Because I mean, obviously we take a deposit when we book weddings, but we, you know, have balances to collect and we don't really know what the right thing to do is at this time. So I'm not sure. Yeah, peanuts, plants, and you just got married. Can you imagine? Like, I I have emails in my inbox that I haven't checked yet just because it's giving me anxiety. But um, I had another bride that wants to kind of lower her package. And then I have another bride that is just going to cut her wedding list. Well, this was before they limited it to 10 people per crowd. Um, she was going to bump down her guest list to 50 people as opposed to like 150 people. Can you imagine telling 100 people, sorry, but you know, you can't come to my wedding because like, what do you do? I don't, I don't know if anybody's ever thought about something like this happening, but yeah. And you know, you think that you have this job and it's a stable one and you're like, people are always going to get married. Like we're fine. We're good. And then something like this happens and it's just like, oh, so I was talking to my mom and my husband earlier and I was like, you know, it would make sense. And Nikki actually, who's on here, my best friend. Um, <laughs> I was talking to them earlier about how they should just put everything to a halt. Like, what do you think about that? Like banks need to just halt mortgage it, mortgage payments. And, and Adam, what do you think about this? Cause you work in the, that field, like credit card payments, utilities, like, what would that mean if they put, if everybody put everything on hold so banks didn't have to give out hundreds of millions of dollars of loans at 0% interest rate, not make any money. People didn't have to default on their bills. I don't know. It just makes sense to me. Jake, are you on, Jake? Hey, Jakey. Is Juliana on too? My best friend is here and she's got two kids and they're watching. <laughs> hey guys. So much needs to happen. Yeah. I know. I just don't know the logistics of that. Like if that would make sense. 
um, you know, the man in charge comes on and I don't want to say certain things guys, cause it'll trigger the algorithm. So I'm not like talking talking politics here. I'm just talking about what's happening. Um, the man in charge <laughs> comes on and says, everything's fine. And it's just, you know, we're good and everything will be fine soon, but, um, you're rich. So you can say things like that. <sighs> yeah. People aren't getting paid. Um, I'm curious to know, are you guys, being like with your job like are you guys at home are you guys getting full pay is it eating into your benefits are you, like are people considering taking loans out like it's just kind of crazy I don't know if that's too personal you don't have to leave that in the comments but I'm just I'm just curious to know um utility payments in Houston are being forgiven and postponed I think it's just water and gas or something. And Centerpoint is also doing something. Okay, that's good to know. I think my mom did say um, something about electric. Yeah, electricity. They were going to not be shutting people's um, lights off. And they would be forgiving all late fees. So that's that's definitely good. Uh, let's see. Canada is reimbursing us if we have to stay home with children. Well... <laughs> Let's talk about Canada. Canada is a wonderful place. <laughs> I swear, after all this blows over, I'm moving to Canada. I'm done. I'm done with the U.S. The public school is paying me, even though schools are closed, which is nice. Okay, that's great, Ashley. I want to say that they're doing that in Chicago, too. If I'm not mistaken, I think that they are. The schools in Arizona are giving out meals. Yeah, they are from Chicago. They are in Chicago too. I got a letter from CPS from my daughter's school saying that they were going to start box meals. And I think that they're preparing them outside, which is kind of insane to me. Like, I don't know how they're going to, how they're going to do that. Okay, Midori, let's block you. I need a wrench. Where's my wrench? Hang on, guys. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this happens. This happens. Thanks, guys. Thanks for looking out. I can't see all the comments, so. Um, but anyway, <laughs> we don't have to talk about, about that guy. It's okay, Pam. No worries. Um... Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, the box meals. I don't know if they're going to be like preparing them outside because they're supposed to be sanitizing the schools. So it's like, how are they going to, like, it's still kind of cold in Chicago. So I don't know how they're going to do that. And rationing meals and stuff. I don't know. I think it's just kind of crazy. I think the kids are like weirded out by the whole thing too. If there's any kids watching, I think it's important that kids stay on track and stay focused on school while they're out because if this can prolong and go, you know, for a couple of months as opposed to a few weeks, they need to really be kept on track, you know, because it, it'll it'll be hard for them. I mean, CPS went on strike uh, a few months ago, I can't remember exactly when it was, but the kids were out of school for like 14 days or something like that. And just that little bit of time, they lose that schedule and that consistency and they get off track. And then it's hard for them to go back to eight hour school days, seven hour, eight hour school days and focus, you know? So I think that's really important. Do your homework kids every day. Um, thanks guys. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, thank you so much, Marcy. That was so sweet. It's a little wink face. <laughs> um, unfortunately, a lot of your students don't have access to technology and the resources need to stay on track. Yeah, Ashley. So that is a problem. I know we have three kids at home and one computer for them to use. So they kind of have to like share it and make schedules. We haven't figured all that out yet, but we're fortunate enough to have a computer at home. So kids that don't have access to the internet or to technology, you know, I think that it's really hard on teachers. I sent my daughter's teacher, um, my daughter's teachers individual emails this morning, just kind of thanking them for 
hustling and putting all this together. I mean, they literally had like three days to put all this curriculum together for, we don't even know how long really till the end of March. But if it goes further than that, I don't know. (sighs) Yes. Lower income people are at a huge disadvantage. I agree. You work at a private school, Lindsay, and your boss is acting like nothing is happening, making us come to work, telling parents we'll resume after spring break as usual. I'm very sorry. Um, I do know. Sorry. Hold on. Gotta take a sip. <clears throat> um, I do. Adam. Not going to lie. I'm annoyed. It's not an even number. Thanks for always looking at me. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you so much, Adam. You didn't have to do that. And I don't know why I can't do that. Like you're talking about the nine ninety nine. I think if you're on your phone, it doesn't let you automatically type in a super chat. But if you're on your computer, you can type in an exact number because on your phone, it gives you that sliding scale. That annoyed me too, because somebody was on a live and I was trying to send them $11 because they were like, oh, it was Rachel. She's like nothing over $10. And I was trying to send her $11 and it wouldn't let me because it was like a sliding scale. Anyway. Okay. Anyway. Um, thank you, Adam. So, yeah, Lindsay, back to what you mentioned about your boss. I am hearing a lot of people, because I think it's 35 states now that close schools. So there are still quite a few schools open. And I'm hearing that people think that it might be safer to keep the kids in school because they're, like, safe and contained and they're not out in the world. But that's not the basis behind this whole thing. This whole thing is to keep people at a distance and not, you know, have people in such close proximity sharing each other's air. (laughs) And that's what's happening in schools. And that's what's happening on airplanes. (laughs) And I'm traveling on Wednesday. I was debating myself in my head about like renting a car and driving home. And I don't know if that's more dangerous than flying. It's that's like a catch 22 because I'd be driving by myself. Um, I'd have to stay at hotels. So I'm checking into like public places to sleep, you know, and then, yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's a dilemma. Let's just say that. Uh, Pam, would you say Adam is the best? True. Minnesota closes Wednesday. Oh, schools. Mm hmm. Um, let's see. Someone just asked, how far is my drive? So my mom is in Arizona. She's like an hour south of Phoenix. Um, what, how many hours is it? Ted, are you there? No, mom. How many hours is a straight drive from Chicago? How many hours is it? I'm asking Google. Oh, mom, I blocked that guy. Mom was looking out. <laughs> How were you able to see it? You didn't, you saw it? Oh, okay, okay, okay. What did you say, Ted? Yeah. Sorry. 23 hours? I mean, obviously, I wouldn't do the drive straight through. Um, I'm not like superhuman, but I would, you know, probably, it would probably take me like three days to get home, which again is, it's fine because I don't have any work to get back home to since everything's canceled. But I mean, I have my family and I've already been out here for over a week. So 23, oh, 23 for me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know, like, People say you're safer on a plane than you are on the street. Obviously driving that long would be ridiculous. And it's, I guess, I I just think it'd be more dangerous to drive that far by myself than to just get on a plane and fly. But with everything going on, like, I don't know, you know? So, um, someone asked me something else and I didn't see 27 confirmed as if 
as of today in Alabama. Donna, 27 deaths. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> Oregon had eight new confirmed cases. I think there was 10 new ones in Chicago today. And they're saying that as people are getting tested, obviously the numbers are going to go up because we're so low on test kits that the numbers have been inaccurate this whole time. That's why watching the news and like listening to all these numbers is really irrelevant because the United States is just so, so low on test kits. Um, and as we're going to be starting, I guess they're going to be putting like test stations in at uh, grocery stores, like in parking lots and stuff. Did you guys hear any more about that? Where you can just drive through and get tested. <sighs> I don't know. And as more people are being tested, I think that the United States now has a million test kits. More and more cases are definitely going to be brought up and it's going to cause more chaos, I think, honestly, because people are going to see those numbers and they're going to get freaked out and are they doing the tests in um, in Louisiana, Christy? Interesting. I'm sorry, a new leaf. I know a lot of people are getting anxiety from it and getting paranoid. I just thought that uh, me coming on here, and yeah, if you guys don't want to talk about this or don't want to hear this, you can please feel free to log off. I am going to talk about plants in a little bit, though. It's not clickbait, I swear. <laughs> I'm going to talk about them. See, I have them here. I went to Tucson. I got some doozies. But I just wanted to, I felt like I just needed to do my due diligence and just get out there and like, not due diligence, that's the wrong word. I just wanted to talk to my subscribers and just, you know, see how you guys are doing. Don't be a tease. <laughs> Jacqueline. Oh, thanks, a new leaf. I didn't think you did. I was just putting it out there because I got the thought in my head that it could cause some anxiety. So, oh, okay, Christy. Yikes. Cheryl, you work in a hospital. Yeah, be safe. Um, huge, huge shout out to everybody that works in places. Hi, Chris that works in um, places where you can't social distance yourself, like hospitals and, you know, um, social work, like, you know, man, there's so much. I was even thinking about prisons today and I was like, what do they do? Like the inmates aren't exposed, I guess, because they've been isolated, but the guards are going in and out. And I think my stepdad had mentioned that they stopped visitation which is so sad <laughs> in all prisons. Um, there is just like a huge ripple effect. And there's so much more that we don't even think about. You know, obviously everybody's thinking about their own personal situation. I know we are. Um, but it's, it's just really hard. Sorry, I'm missing a lot of comments. I'm so sorry. Everyone on the front lines is a hero. That's true, Teresa. Everyone on the front lines is a hero. Um, paramedics, police officers, these people need to come in, in contact with other people, you know, and that's just, you can't, we can't stop that. Inmates have tested positive and are afraid. I have a friend who's a doctor from the prison system. Oh, Flara, no way. Wow. Anna, where are you? I'm so sorry that you're um, so down. <sighs> I'm so sorry. We're going to talk about plants. Grocery store workers are working hard. Um, there's notes all around this area. My mom's in Queen Creek. So there's notes all over the place that um, grocery stores that were 24 hours are shutting down now from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. And they are cleaning and restocking and you know, these people are, are working around the clock. You're from the Philippines. So it's pretty chaotic there. I'm really sorry. Have you been in your house? 
this whole time. They do have to deal with mania. Seriously, they really do. Yes, Anna. We will get through this. Okay. So, now that we've talked about that, and I see that everybody's healthy, I've been on for about 30 minutes, so I wanted to kind of jump over to some plants. I went down to Tucson on, I don't know what day it is, Saturday. I went down to Tucson on Saturday. Oh, thank you so much, Pam. You're so sweet. Um, I went down to Tucson for the fifth time on Saturday with some friends. I actually um, am going to have a blog post right after this. I'm going to post it up. It's a blog, not a blog, a vlog with me, Adam and Becca. And we had a full day down in Tucson and we did a lot of fun stuff. Uh, they filmed a video together, which you guys are not going to want to miss. It's coming in a couple of weeks. I'm so excited. And then we went out for lunch and we went to a plant shop plants for the Southwest. If you guys are in Tucson, is anybody from Tucson in here? If you are, um, make sure you go to this place, this plant shop. I'm going to write it in the comments actually. Um, if you're there, say hi to Mike. He is so cool. And he, you're going to see it in the vlog. He talked to us about some obesas that I'm going to show you right now. And uh, they're just so sweet there. And it was a really cool place. It was a majority like succulents and cacti. Really, really cool. I mean, you know, you know, I love this place. The last time I went to Tucson, last time I was here, they were closed and I was so bummed. So hold on. Your battery's going to die. No. Battery dying. Wait, can you guys hear me? Oh, <laughs> plug your phones in. <laughs> um, okay. What, no, what was I saying? Oh, they were closed and I couldn't, I couldn't go and I was so bummed. So I was able to go this time. And then what else did we do after that? Oh, we went to Mount Lemon, Mount Lemon in Tucson. And I did a photo shoot for Becca and her husband. And some of the pictures are going to be in the vlog. So it was so much fun, you guys. It was great. So make sure you watch that after. I leave live. I'm going to post it so you guys can go see it. Okay. First cactus I got is a steno cactus, multicostatus. You guys know how I am with names, okay? Don't come for me. Is that backwards? More than likely, but that, oh no, it's not. That's what that is. And look at it. Isn't she cute? So cute. I wish you guys can see it up close. This will be at the end of my video too. So you can kind of get a little bit of a closer look, but there's like some red spines in the center there. And like the flesh on the cactus is ripply, which is pretty cool. Ooh, a photo shoot. Yes, we had so much fun. So much fun. Adam posted a picture over on his Instagram. If you're not following him at not dude, go check it out um, that I took of him. It, this the place was just amazing. It was like this valley, swirls everywhere. Bye, Jim. Bye. Thanks for coming on. There were swirls everywhere. It was just so stunning. So 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 stunning. Okay, this is an Astrophytum onzuka. 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 That's what that is. That first one I think was seven fifty that I showed you, and this one was twenty dollars. And then. Oh, Katie. Thank you so much, Katie. You're so sweet. You are always on here super chatty me. Ask me a question, Katie. Do you have anything you want to know? <laughs> I like that little sticker. <laughs> Hi, babe. You're late to the party. I'm showing cactus. Okay. Thank you so much, Katie. Seriously. If you have anything that you want to ask me, please. Um, okay. So isn't this cool? This was like one of the biggest ones they had there. And it has like if you look really closely, it almost looks like mealy bugs, but it's not. <laughs> but the markings are just so cool. I love it so much. <laughs> Everybody knows that the Boca Junkies is Jay. <laughs> That's so funny. All right. 
I need an astrophytum. I can't believe I don't have any. Yes, you do, Lucia. Oh, show. <laughs> okay. This for, because I, I don't know the species name, I'm going to say the common name. It's a me Mexican fence post cactus. And I know, I don't like calling it that. I do not like calling it that. Um, but that's what, that's the common name. And I don't, I can't pronounce the other name, but this Adam gave this to me. He bought it. Isn't it cool? I've been wanting one for a really long time. And these things grow pretty fast out here, which is um, pretty cool, but I'm bringing it home. So sorry, mom. <laughs> Reb, 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 stop it right now. Anyway, um, something I did not talk about <laughs> in my vlog, and you don't see any of it, but we did a little collab with Plantastica, and that's coming out very soon. So Reb's being funny by asking me that question because she asks me that question uh, somewhere else. Okay, anyway, back to plants. I got two Euphorbia obesas two guys these are the baseball cactus they're really really tiny but aren't they cute let me show you the name in case i'm saying it wrong but i'm pretty sure i'm saying this one right because i've been wanting this for a really long time euphorbia obesa and actually a little bit of snapple facts um this is the male obesa it has like little yellow pollen in the flowers there. And this is the female one. And more on these on my vlog after this uh, live video goes up because Mike from the plant shop that we were at where I got these plants for the Southwest talks about it. And it's really cool. So those are the cactus I got. Weren't they cute? I love them. Thanks so much, Reb. Seriously. Um, it's not offensive to call them Mexican fence posts. I am from Mexico and many home use them to line the borders. Sorry, guys. The bar. They're easy to grow here and making. Well, it's good to know that you yet you live in Mexico. I'm assuming that. Hold on. Line the borders. OK, I know, but I don't know. I just heard that. I don't know. Well, I'm glad that you don't think that it is. <laughs> and you'd be the one to be offended if you live there. You want one? Yeah, the baseball cactus. I know. I've been wanting one so long, and I finally got them. You know, I saw them on Etsy, but I didn't want to get them on Etsy. I wanted to buy them locally. And then Becca went to – I got stuff all over my computer. <sighs> Becca went to this Plants for the Southwest, and she did a video on it. And I was like, okay, we have to go there. And then the last time I was down there, they were closed, and I was so upset. So I knew when we were going this time, I was like, I'm going to look for an Obisa. Nikki, <laughs> down payment for a bribe to swim in that pool. You don't have to give me a down payment. Like that could be payment enough. And I'll make you, I'll have a drink ready for you when you get here. <laughs> Thanks so much, Nikki. <laughs> um, are the obesas rare, Marie? No, I don't think any of these are. I mean, they're more uncommon, but I, I wouldn't call them rare. They're pretty easily accessible in the um, Southwest. <laughs> good I'm glad Erin welcome thanks for being here I just want to drive down and go shopping with at least one of my planty friends there Cody you keep talking about this listen the next time I'm out here which God knows when that's gonna be I don't know um you have to come I really wish I can show you guys something maybe I can so the sun is setting out here guys and if has, has anybody of you guys ever seen an Arizona sunset, I'm going to take you. Sorry for the shakiness. If you get motion sickness, put the phone down for a second. Let me show you. God. It's not going to do it? Oh, come on, YouTube. Get with it. Oh, I'm going to take a picture and post it on my Instagram. Go follow me at my clean leaves on Instagram, guys, because the sunset's amazing. Mom, can you take a picture? Of <laughs> no, it's not picking it up. Yes, the sunsets in Arizona are incredible. Like, seriously incredible. Yeah, take a picture. 
Mama Clean Leaves has become a master at taking pictures of sunsets because she sends one to me almost every night when I'm in Chicago and it makes me very jelly. They are hard to capture on photo. I know. I'm sorry, Christy. Just shows the big bright sky. You got it? Let me see if you got a good one, mom. Am I? I'm sorry, guys. I was frozen. Am I back? Am I back? See this? It's still looking a little orange, but I'm post it. That's a good picture, mom. I'm going to post it on my Instagram. Okay, are we good? I'm back. Back. Back, back, back. Yes, yes, yes. Do, 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 do. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's so cool, Cody. Awesome. Yeah, I'll post it when I get off here. So do you guys have any questions for me before I hop off? I'm going to be on for like another 15 minutes or so. The sky is so beautiful. I love it. Let's see if anyone asked questions while I was chatting and rambling. Sorry, guys, I'm looking down. Oh, my mom's lights just came on. Do you see them? <laughs> it's like a resort here, I swear. Yeah, the pool. I don't know. The internet is making me very mad. Sorry, guys. I think we're back. Okay, good. Sorry. Those of you that are sticking around, man, you're real ones. My pause faces are the worst. Oh, my gosh. You know, after our live video, me, Becca, and Adam, you guys, like, took screenshots of, of our frozen faces. And we're all, like, <laughs> posted them on Instagram. That was so hilarious. Always count on you guys. <laughs> yeah, it's like pink. You can actually kind of see it, right? This is everywhere. Every night. Every night, guys. And when it's a little cloudy, it's even better because it just like shoots off the clouds and reflects off the clouds. Yeah, it looks pink. You can see it on there, Mom. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, it's like cotton candy. Exactly, Sherry. That's exactly what it looks like, actually, because it's like baby blue and pink. Um, do you guys have any other questions for me? It's starting to get dark. This is the light from my computer screen. Go back to my question. Tammy, oh, my desert rose is getting really mushy. The roots look great. So where is it getting mushy? Is it getting mushy on, like, the base of it that's closest to the pot? And the roots look great. Are you on Instagram, Tammy? I was just going to. Are we back? It's My mom said they are. It might be because. Oh, it's, it might be my mom's internet. I'm not sure what's going on. I'm sorry, guys. Shut up, Adam. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's great, Chris, that your internet, internet provider offered a free month. That's good. Okay. Um, <laughs> is Ted on the computer? That's a good point. Oh, never mind. Um, guys, I hate to cut this short, but I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to get going because internet keeps freezing. I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry. But going back to co what Cody said about the, um, I might have to do that. I might have to like plan that the framing is off. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm back to say goodbye. Gosh, 
Thank you so much, guys, for the super chats, for joining me and talking about all that's going on in the world. I really, really, really want everyone to be healthy and safe. Wash your hands. Don't touch your face like Mama Clean Leaves says. And just keep your distance from people. I know I'm a hugger. I get it. Like we, you know, we want to hug and we want to shake hands, but we can't do that right now. So stay safe. Don't go crazy in your house and um, just leave it up to the YouTube people in the plant community to post some, some fun content in the next couple of weeks to keep you guys preoccupied and kids do your homework. All right. Bye guys. Thanks so much. Have a good one. All right. Now I'm going to end it. Where is that? Oh yeah. I'm over here. Bye guys. Thanks so much.